One sign that you may be on the path to heaven is if you consistently strive to live a life guided by strong moral values. This includes treating others with kindness, compassion, and empathy, and making conscious efforts to do good in the world. If you consistently demonstrate these qualities, it can be an indication that you are living a life that aligns with the values promoted in many religious teachings. Genuine Repentance and Forgiveness Another sign that you may be on the path to heaven is if you genuinely repent for your past mistakes and seek forgiveness from those you may have harmed. Recognizing your faults and taking responsibility for your actions, while also giving others the opportunity to forgive you, can be seen as a sign of personal growth and spiritual development. The process of repentance and forgiveness is often considered essential in many religious traditions and can be a sign of spiritual maturity. Dedication to spiritual growth A strong commitment to spiritual growth and a personal relationship with a higher power can also be viewed as a sign that you are on the path to heaven. This dedication involves regularly engaging in practices such as prayer, meditation, studying sacred texts, attending religious services, and seeking wise counsel from spiritual leaders or mentors. By actively seeking to deepen your understanding of your faith and develop a connection with a higher power, you demonstrate a genuine desire for a closer relationship with the divine. It is important to note that different religious traditions have varying beliefs about what constitutes entry into heaven or salvation. The signs mentioned above are general indicators that can be applicable in various religious contexts, but ultimately, it is up to each individual and their faith tradition to determine the specific criteria for entering heaven. Faith in Jesus Christ The Bible teaches that faith in Jesus Christ is crucial for salvation and entry into heaven. In John chapter 3 verse 16, it is stated, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. This verse emphasizes the importance of believing in Jesus Christ as the Son of God and understanding that through his sacrifice, we can have eternal life in heaven. Faith in Jesus involves more than mere acknowledgement, it requires a personal and transformative relationship. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Genuine faith recognizes Jesus as Lord and Savior, trusting in his atoning work on the cross for the forgiveness of sins. Repentance and Forgiveness The Bible consistently emphasizes the significance of repentance and forgiveness in the process of salvation. In Acts chapter 3 verse 19, it states, Repent therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out. Repentance involves acknowledging one's sins, feeling genuine remorse, and turning away from sinful behaviors, with the intention to align one's life with God's teachings. Forgiveness plays a vital role in this process. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 states, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. By recognizing and confessing our sins to God, we open ourselves to the transformative power of forgiveness. Experiencing spiritual cleansing and renewal. Transformation of character. The Bible teaches that those on the path to heaven will undergo a transformation of character through the work of the Holy Spirit. In Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23, the fruits of the Spirit are outlined as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. As individuals yield to the transformative power of the Holy Spirit, their character gradually reflects these virtues. This transformation is not solely through human effort but is a result of submitting to the guidance and empowerment of the Holy Spirit. It entails renewing our minds through the study of God's Word, prayer, and surrendering our desires to the will of God. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 urges believers to be transformed by the renewal of their minds, indicating an ongoing process of spiritual growth. Furthermore, the Bible emphasizes other indications of saving faith, such as loving God and others, Mark chapter 12 verses 30 to 31, practicing obedience to God's commandments, John chapter 14 verse 15, engaging in acts of service, Matthew chapter 25 verses 35 to 40, and maintaining a humble and repentant heart, Luke chapter 18 verses 9 to 14. It is essential to study the Bible and seek guidance from trusted spiritual leaders to gain a deeper understanding of the faith and its requirements for salvation. The journey to heaven involves a personal relationship with Jesus, continual repentance, and a transformation of character by the work of the Holy Spirit. In Christianity, the concept of heaven is often closely tied to salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. 
Different Christian denominations may have nuanced views on this matter. But a common thread is the belief that acceptance of Jesus as Lord and Savior is central to achieving eternal life in heaven. The Bible, particularly the New Testament, is a primary source for Christian beliefs about salvation. 1. Faith in Jesus Christ. Many Christian denominations assert that faith in Jesus Christ is the key to salvation and entry into heaven. This involves acknowledging Jesus as the Son of God, accepting his sacrifice on the cross for the forgiveness of sins, and believing in his resurrection. A well-known verse supporting this idea is John chapter 14 verse 6, where Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. 2. Good works and righteous living. While faith is paramount, some Christian traditions also emphasize the importance of good works and righteous living as evidence of genuine faith. James chapter 2 verse 17 states, in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. The concept of the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 highlights virtues such as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control as markers of a Christian life. 3. God's Grace. Many Christians believe in the concept of God's grace. Emphasizing that entry into heaven is not solely based on human merit but as a gift from God. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9 states, For it is by grace you have been saved. Through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Please subscribe my YouTube channel I hope you like this video.